Good morning, Second Life. It is October 3rd, 2023. It is Mean Girls Day. Man, this year went by fast. Went by fast. It's October already. I almost can't think straight. I almost can't think straight. It's so weird. Um, couple of updates to get out of the way. October 14th and 15th will be Double Afterlife Points Weekend. We do this twice a year so that you can... Get a little bit of a bonus for the pets you're willing to let go to the afterlife and the plants you're willing to compost. Double afterlife points extends for 48 hours only. We do not extend that. We do not change that. We try to keep you as up to date that that is coming. And the weekend of, we will blast that out to everybody. Please be aware, if you miss it, we won't honor it. This is one of those ones where I'm very, the deadline's the deadline. And I neither, nothing's going to happen. 14th and 15th for... After lifing and composting your pets for double points. And then we move on. The 15th and the 4th, actually the 16th then, the day after, is the start of the, um, the LE Halloween 2023 drop. That will be uh, the 16th through the 31st. It ends on the holiday at midnight. So may the odds be ever in your favor, and they are really pretty. Uh, we just got to get the last few uh, done, the rook, the bunny, and then we'll get them down on the displays as soon as we can. I know they're you guys are itching at the bit to kind of see them, but uh, they're not ready. So we'll get them out as soon as we can. We've got a little time yet, but I'll uh, crack the whip and see if we can't get something done. Um, updates. We successfully updated the Green Garden compost bin yesterday for an error in our new discovery um, that was found by one of my CSRs who went a little bonkers. Uh, so uh, we put out that compost update to address a texture error in the discovery plant. That's all that was. Um, Lars is coming. Hi, Lars. You want to be on screen too? Come on. Come on. I love when he interrupts our meetings. He's a good boy. Oh, oh, oh he's a black cat. He wants to be on part of the, he, I, I'm doing things wrong, apparently. Oh, hi, baby. He's purring. Um, where was I? <laughs> I don't even know where I was. Where was I? Oh, up, pet updates. Uh, we updated the compost bin. We updated the equines this past week. And that allowed for version numbers to be in your horses so that when you're buying a horse that has an older or outdated version number, you know to update pets. Same with turtle tots. Yeah. What else? What else? Tell me all about it. And uh, I'll put him down. He's heavy. He's big boy. He's going to scream at me again. Um... And we are working on the alpaca update. Unfortunately, the alpaca update hit some roadblocks. And we're going to put that update out pretty soon. As soon as we get it done, it will be this week most likely. What? You want an alpaca? I will buy you an alpaca, boy. So the alpaca update failed on my end. Yeah, he's a big cat. He's a forest cat. Um, the alpaca update failed on my end, and I had to find... Um, out why with the scripter, we came up with a solution that's not the best solution, but it airs in the um, in the favor of the customer. Um, you guys, uh, most of your alpaca will update just fine. They'll have their age correctly, their breeding status will be the same, and their traits will be unaffected. Some alpaca that are having issues with the update because of how much data they have, we're going to ignore their age and their breeding flag. And when we recreate them with the, the home object, with their yarn basket, when you click the yarn basket and say update pet, it will put the pet back out with all of its traits, its size, its name, all that, its ID number, but it will be set to age five and ready to breed. What do you think of that? That errs on the side of our customer and gives our customer the benefit of the doubt. Um, it also is like a, an instant fountain of youth for some of those pets. It's an age up for some of those pets. And we're only doing it in this instance because we need to clean slate the code. And so we would rather make the pets ready to breed in age five to give you either longer breeding windows or, or, or just better places in general to be than have you have broken pets. So we are working on that fix this week and we're going to test that this week. And hopefully by the end of this week, early next week, we will have that out. It may be today or tomorrow. We're not sure. There's goose. 
Bella's over here. Goose is over here. All the pets went in on this action. So that's the uh, that's the story with Alpaca. He's mad. Why are you so mad? Uh, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start with Utopia Skygrid, and we're going to work our way through Second Life. Um, I've gotten some messages about some gossipy stuff from other marketplaces. And I'm going to be honest, if I open your note card and it's got stuff like that in it, I'm not going to read it. If you IM me and start talking about it, I'm going to tell you to stop and not talk to me and my staff about it. And we don't want to be ungrateful that you're trying to help because I understand a lot of people feel like they need to protect us. We don't need protecting. We are big enough that we are not going to just collapse under one person's bad attitude. And we've proven that time and time again. So please, if you hear something hearsay from anybody, just keep it to yourself. My staff, my wife, my kids, me, we don't need to hear it. We just don't want to hear it. Don't bring that negativity into my house. I don't bring that negativity into yours. Know what I mean? Cool. Glad we had that talk. Um, also, I'm not hiring. I, I'm getting a lot of, do you need a CSR? Do you need help with this? Do you need help with that? I am not hiring. We are fully staffed. Profits are spoken for. I don't hire unpaid workers. It'll never happen because you deserve to be compensated for your work monetarily, not just with pets or food. Like you deserve to be compensated monetarily for your work. So all of my staff are paid. All of our profits are shared. And it's, it's where it is. I'm not hiring. Um, the only thing that we might hire later would be an auctioneer at some point. But I, we've had trouble with that in the past. Red's just comfortable doing it all. So we'll see how, what the future brings and see what we're going to do. Um, on the main sim, you'll see we have a photo display from Mousy Kenyon. Mousy takes some really amazing Foxtrot pictures, and we've decided to spotlight some of her photography on the main sim. Go over, take a look. They're very pretty. We also have those on display at Garden of Eden, if you'd like to see some of those there. They are very beautiful photos. She takes amazing work, and I don't know if she takes commissions, but you could reach out and see if she's doing photo commissions. I bet she would take some stunning pictures of some avatars. I should reach out. Um, we've got, outside of that, we've got no plans for a pet release this year. No, no more pets this year. I just want to say, I've had people asking me, what's next, what's next, and bring out this and bring out that. I get it, but we're trying to do a green garden, garden overhaul before we release aquariums. We're trying to get all of our pets up to a standard code. We're trying to get all home objects, legacy and standard pets, and green garden updated with status flags. So if the servers are down, we can flip a switch and everybody's home objects will have red hover text that say all stop. And they won't allow you to finish a breed. So no more broken eggs and nests because we're breeding when it's all stop and we don't know. Um, because a lot of people who are in our group have notices turned off. They don't want to see the notices. And the notices for Foxtrot are very important because they highlight our beacons, our marketplace, and of course, all stops and all clears. So we're working on a home object update that will facilitate letting people who aren't even in our group know. It's a way to reach out. If you have ideas or thoughts, send me a note card. I'd be happy to discuss those. But updating the thing you have to have just seems like the right idea. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful October. We're getting straight into it. If you guys have questions, comments, suggestions, please reach out to me via note card. My IMs get capped within minutes of me being offline, and I do take myself on offline when I'm not here. So please send me a note card with your feedback and let me know. If you would like a friend in me, you can send me a friend request. I will accept friend requests until Second Life doesn't let me accept anymore. So send them. I'll be happy to be your friend. Um, and if you need me, just reach out. Thank you so much, guys. And you have a wonderful day and happy breeding. And also be kind to each other.